In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your refraction photographs using Photopea. So the first thing you need to do is type in Photopea into Google and go onto the Photopea editor online and then open from computer. And you will need to find the photographs that you took as part of the refraction tutorial. If you've not seen it, check it out it's on my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to open up um, a couple of photographs and show you how you would edit them in Photopea. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop it. Um, because it's a bit out, it's a bit off centre and I, I want it to be perfectly in the middle. So I'm going to highlight it with the crop tool. The crop tool is there. Drag it on, highlight it, press enter. That looks much better. Then, once you've cropped it and you're happy with it, you're going to go down here to the adjustment layers okay it's this little circle that's been chopped in half one side shaded in it's the adjustment layers and click on it now i'm going to apply different adjustment layers to this to show you all the different things that you could possibly do so the first thing i'm going to do is go to threshold and you can see there that it's already given you quite a nice um, effect but if i drag it up and drag it down you can see that just by tweaking the levels here you can create um, a really nice effect, a little bit more maybe, Ooh, it does lag photo peak, it can sometimes take a bit of time, yeah, that'll do, happy with that. Right, once I'm happy, I go to File, Export as JPEG and I save it to my device. Now imagine if I wasn't happy with that, I click back on my layer here, the one that I've just added, the threshold layer, and I go down to here and I delete that layer, I'm back to where I'm, I am at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to try another adjustment layer now. So I'm down here onto that circle, the adjustment layer tool. It does lag. Okay, so make sure that you're aware of that. Uh, next one I'm going to use is black and white. So you can see that it's made it quite a grey scale there. You can play about with the different levels on here to get different effects. So if I drag that yellow up, it makes that bottom there a little bit whiter. Drag the red down, that's making those those tones a bit darker. Okay, have a little play about with those and you can get some different effects. Okay, once you're happy with it, you go to File, Export as JPEG and you save it to your device. If you're not happy, you can click back on the layer, go down to the rubbish bucket tool and delete the layer. I'm going to open up another one now to show you some others. So File, Open, and I might use this one for the next tutorial. Okay, so again, what do I do? I go down the side here, I choose my crop tool, and I drag it on. I'm going to make this one perfectly square. I'm going to position it, press Enter, Okay, so that looks all right, but it doesn't look that cool. I'm going to make this one really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go to my adjustment layers. It's down here. It's the circle chopped in half. And I'm going to go up to gradient map. It's one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to click on gradient map. Right, it's set to like a black to white gradient map. If you click in that, that option there, you can choose different ones. And look at that. Woo! Right, that's amazing. But then you can click onto that and you can actually start tinkering about with the options in there. So you can have a bit more blue or a bit more pink, get rid of the pink. You could change that sort of light colour blue there. You can maybe mess about with those. Okay, and once you're happy with your all your little tinkering, you can go to oh, you, ooh, you can go to file, export, other JPEG and save it to your device.